German battleships have often been the recommended choice to start playing and learning a battleship style. These ships, of course, mostly have turtle back, not the uh, battle cruiser line, uh, but they're very good at close range. They have relatively fast reloading guns and generally seem reasonably forgiving, especially the main line with that turtle back, meaning you're not going to take these massive salvos eating over half your HP, that kind of thing. But I actually think you'd be wrong to start grinding the German battleships as your first line. Either the battlecruisers like Schlieffen or the Preussen and the main brawling turtleback battleship line. I don't think either one of them are particularly good right now, and you're just going to have a bad experience. So to illustrate that, let's take a look at two games I had. Schlieffen here starting off, I am flanking here. There's really no destroyer spotting for us. There's no carrier to spot. So I, with my good concealment, am able to play a little aggressive on this flank. However, it's not going so well. Our Alaska gets caught bow in. The enemy team is just farming him out from very long range and my guns are not very effective here. If I were to push in and get make use of my secondaries here, I'm just gonna die. So I decide to send some torps out, potentially if they dive for the cap, and turn around. Moving on way later into this game, you'll notice that I am very far away from where I was. I'm actually using brisk here, so we almost go 40 knots. But Schlieffen here is a great ship, and our ability to kill things quickly is going to be demonstrated by this Kremlin who does get caught bow into us. So our secondaries are just gonna absolutely chew this guy up. This ship is very good still. I don't think it's a bad ship. I just think it has a tough time with battle impact. It's difficult for these German battleships overall to just even get in range. And the second game is gonna show that a little bit better, but it's tough to be in range and be effective in these German battleships compared to other things like the French battleships, the Japanese battleships, the uh, American battleships for sure. They're all just better at these longer range engagements. And I think that's what's required. Just building off of one of my previous videos talking about the battleship experience, right? And what I think surface ship combat is gonna look like this year. I think the German battleships are gonna be worse than they've ever been uh, this year in 2022. Since the game is more passive, I really wanted to make sure People didn't go into these lines thinking that the brawls, this secondary firepower is going to be the norm. These games do happen. And even in a game like this, where our team absolutely gets annihilated, I am able to make use of these secondaries and have some battle impact, but you'll notice it's a little bit too late. Too little, too late, right? The game has basically been decided at this point since the enemy team has so much map control, a much, much, bigger advantage in number of ships and of course our team is just basically going to melt to the sustained firepower of the enemy team but this kremlin will go down and these secondaries are very good i just think that the german battleships are not a good starting choice even as your second or third battleship line i think there's much better choices if you want the brawling secondary playstyle, maybe even try to get an ohio <laughs> as tough as that sounds that ship is much, much better, especially at these mid to long ranges. It can actually hold its own at longer ranges and actually have some decent accuracy. We did take out that Kremlin relatively quickly. We farmed up quite a bit of damage. We turn around and now we have a Hanover to deal with, which Schlieffen has like, what, half the HP? <laughs> Not quite, but it's, it's close. Um, so yeah, tier 10 versus super ships can be a little interesting. However, this guy has pushed and overextended. These German battleships are definitely great at punishing people for overextending. The secondary firepower is really, really good against ships that are pushing into you. I've noticed over time while using the secondaries that against smaller targets like light cruisers and destroyers, they're really good when the destroyer or light cruiser is pushing into me. But if I'm chasing, the secondaries almost always miss. So. Taking secondary engagements are really good against big ships like this Hanover as we take them out, caught a broadside, that kind of thing. Uh, but again, this game, too little, too late. It is game over. But 185k, the damage is good. I just think the battle impact is not there for the crucial first five to seven minutes of a game. That's really when 
the tone of the match gets set. And the Preussen having more range, being a little tankier, might be a better option. But the problem is, the initial points of these games where everyone gets spotted, you'll notice I'm not in range to hit any of those battleships. It takes a long time, jumping forward here, for me to really even get in range to start engaging these battleships. Over five minutes goes by and I've only done around 10,000 damage. Very, very, very low battle impact initially. We've already lost ourselves a cruiser. And of course, now I have to deal with a uh, submarine that's gonna be pinging me from this channel. I actually had intentions to move through that channel, try and flank this Yamato, try and get myself into B, but that's not gonna happen any again. And now I'm gonna make a couple huge errors. And uh, that really comes down to the clumsy nature and the need to get into closer range engagements with these German battleships. I think they're still decent and they can be a lot of fun. Their broadside firepower, especially with the main line here, it's pretty good. Citadels do 15,000 damage and at mid range, assuming the uh, dispersion cooperates, you can see we can take a huge chunk off of a Yamato. The secondaries also reach out to 12.6 kilometers. If you build like that, it's a decent fun build, but it does require that mid to close range engagement. At max range, these guns are incredibly underwhelming and most of the engagements that really matter are going to be at that range, at least at the beginning. I think most maps are going to be these long range engagements. There are some where it can work out and you can play that island hopping close quarters engagement, but I think that's not the norm. That's gonna be a rarity that sometimes happens. As you can see, take huge damage from that gene and I made some massive mistakes here. But like I said, I wanted my plan was to go through the channel, and uh, when I saw that submarine, my brain just stopped working. <laughs> so seeing a GNAN and launching a set of torps, I just didn't even think about the second side, or potentially the torpedo reload booster. So obviously down a ton of HP here. But our team is hopefully going to take out this submarine, which is really good because I need to run away. That's really, really, really important here. And that's kind of the problem. Even on a cap that we control, I feel like we're going to lose A very quickly here because I don't have the ability to engage this Montana or this Jinan very effectively, especially if they get some destroyer spotting or some carrier spotting coming forward. I am probably gonna go down here very, very quickly. We do have a decent number of citadels already this game. This dispersion can be very good. It can also be incredibly bad. So. We get a Citadel one salvo, and then the next one, it looks like that, where <laughs> we get one non-pen. So a little bit frustrating with the dispersion as well. Another reason I don't think this line is very good for beginner new battleship players, people wanting to try out battleships. I don't think this is a good line. Feel free to disagree or leave some reasons you think this is a good or bad line in the comments down below. But overall, I do think the German battleships aren't very good in the current meta. They're quite strong overall, I think. Um, I just think that the meta is perfectly designed to uh, exploit their weaknesses. Let's let's just say that. <laughs> their, their weak points are where the meta is at right now. It's much like the Jinan where everyone wants to run away. Jinan is an amazing ship when people are pushing, but you know, people don't really do that. And the German battleships are much the same. They don't really have the tankiness to push. I think that's really the main issue here. They have to be played in this kiting passive style right now because there's so many ships that kill them very quickly when they push in. Um, asking for uh, intelligence data here, we have a carrier that could spot some things. So he does manage to bring his planes over. I'm hoping to get a decent shot into the GNAN. But the last problem, of course, with the German battleships is the dispersion and I just don't have the confidence to take this shot right now. That's why you're seeing me hesitate. I'm hoping the GNAN is gonna angle to those uh, rocket planes or something. He doesn't, so I just end up taking the uh, shot as he goes dark anyway. And well, the reason I don't have a lot of confidence is, well, we missed. <laughs> Every shell missed there outside of our secondaries. Our secondaries did manage to hit, so at least that is something. Um, the Yamato moving on a little forward into this game is broadside to us at that mid-range, and assuming the dispersion cooperates, these ships are pretty okay in the mid-range. 
I think you can do better with the American battleships, the Japanese battleships, that kind of thing. In the mid-range, certainly the French battleships as well. But the German battleships are okay in the mid-range as well. This is where they start to get a little more powerful. But really, the goal is close range. And that just isn't very possible these days. So I really would like to see the German battleships be good again. I'd like to see closer range engagements happen again. But I just don't see the meta, the way this game is played, going that way. As people play more matches, they learn more, they get better at the game, and they start to understand pushing is really not the goal. That's really not how good games happen. The Yamato actually gets taken out. That's a pretty decent uh, salvo, especially given the Yamato's angle there and the range. So things can happen. Again, it's, it's an odd situation where I think the German battleships are pretty bad in most matches overall. And yet they do have some massive strengths, especially at close quarters. And the Preussen getting these 457 millimeter guns has some overmatch suddenly. There's some decent stuff to be had here, but unfortunately, I think the weaknesses are just too great. And uh, well, I pop a heal there thinking the Montana's gonna just lay into me. Uh, even though there is turtle back, I am liable to take around 40,000 damage if a Montana gets a good salvo into our side. Uh, he just, I guess, landed all his shells short. So that's unfortunate for him, but. By the time I do feel like I could push in here where we managed to spot the Jinan and the uh, the Sherbin, it is just, again, too little, too late. These German battleships are good in this late game. They're good at these closer range engagements. And unfortunately, most matches are decided by the mid to long range engagements. So if you're looking for battle impact out of a battleship, definitely steer clear of these German ones. At least in my opinion, at least right now. We'll see where the game goes from here, but I really have a tough time with these. And you can just see that based on the amount of damage we dealt, 112k, and the amount of potential damage, 3.7 million potential damage. I was just getting shot at and really not being very effective most of that game. As we take a look at the builds, I just want to say I don't want to be all doom and gloom about this game and brawling battleships. They can work, there are matches where it can happen. But my goal with this video really is to say that I don't think we should really be recommending these German battleships to newer players, people looking to pick up battleships for the first time. I truly do believe there are better lines for the current meta, and there are better lines to learn how to play battleships in a way where you're actually helping your team out. As far as the builds go, I am running a full secondary build Schlieffen, as you can see, and a bit of a hybrid build on the Preussen. If I wanted to be a little better, I certainly could run Aiming Systems Mod 1, but that's a very minor upgrade to accuracy. It's hardly noticeable most of the time, and uh, the base accuracy is really what matters more when it comes to these ships and their long-range capability. But uh, let me know what you think. What are the battleship lines that you would recommend? What is your favorite battleship line? Uh, let me know down below. I just think the German battleships aren't the best now that it's 2022, and we have the current meta. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.